the they say that say omuns are not born again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 And when we are born, every day is no good day, but this one every day is no good day. Yes. Stop. Hi realities, welcome um, to Queen with a Difference Podcast. My name is Favor Kweyemi and I am the Queen with a Difference. Mm-hmm. There's something intriguing that I want to talk about today. I know you must have been saying it year and year. The se- Ceiling Selective Challenge, CCC. With me here is two of my sisters, my beloved sisters. And <laughs> today we'll be talking about this particular challenge together. But before we proceed, I would like to give them the honor of introducing themselves. On my right, he is Royalty Hanyong Boy first. And on my left, Royalty Daphne Nefix. Alright, so yeah, you've met them. And before we proceed, that has a YouTube channel. So please like, follow, and subscribe. Please tell us the name of your YouTube channel. <laughs> no more YouTube channel is Ogene Yiru Daphne. Yeah, if you had it, <laughs> I'll leave the link in the description. So please do well to follow our on our own YouTube channel. All right, back to the topic of discussion for today: the selective selling challenge. CCC. Okay. When you hear CCC, get it. All right. So this challenge is what you may or may not have seen. But it is the current trend we have on TikTok, on Instagram, and even on WhatsApp. People are just all over posting and reposting. We saw this particular challenge and I'm like, oh, let's talk about this before many other persons who are still contemplating on jumping on the challenge or not, you know, would eventually jump on it. So today we'll be talking about our opinions and what we think and what we think this particular challenge will do to the person and what this challenge is even doing to the society at large and even at the end of this video we'll be backing up backing it up with our opinions and um, our encouragement to the young ladies and the young christian ladies especially all right so the ccc challenge the cc challenge or sellotape selling challenge is basically this um, kind of challenge whereby you as a lady put your phone up there in the ceiling mm. and then you use a, a cello tape to, to, tape it. to tape it up there like such risk such risk your phone up <laughs> you use, use a cello tape, tape it up there and then the ladies then start to dance some go to the extent of exposing no. their private parts their Nobody. body on the internet like I really don't know the point of this video, but it is all over and people are following, people are, you know, reposting, people are jumping on the challenge and the likes. And also, it's not just that, this particular challenge now, even the guys that cannot do it, and now this is what they sit down with and they watch. So, let's move on to the impact of this challenge on the person. So, Bessin, can you please tell us what do you think would be the impact of this challenge on individuals? Well, the first one I'll be saying is body exposure. Ladies, ladies, your bodies are being, you know, made known for the world to see. There's no privacy. I mean, there's a reason why it is called private part. Why? Because it is meant to be guarded. It's meant to be kept hidden. But now, what do you do? You flaunt it, like show it to the world, and it's everywhere. That's the sad truth. Everywhere, everywhere. I want to know about internet that you really have to know is that once it is there, it is there forever. Like, what do you think about the impact of this challenge on individuals? Okay, I'll say the impact um, concerning this challenge that I on in, in every individual, like mostly ladies, is that. This um, challenge, the um, account to the description, it is like video captured, it's capturing like our body, which lesson I said earlier that exposing our body parts, and we are like putting it on social medias, and which will serve as like evidence for any like action, and it's an action we are taking actually, so it definitely is an evidence that is going to like stay a long lasting memory that we are keeping, which will later serve as evidence for us, <laughs> and to have side effects. There's a saying that I said that. Um, you, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go tire. Tire. Evidence. 
every day, day is no day. good day, but this one every, every day is no good day. day. Yes. Stand by. There will be evidence. You want to see. Yeah. There will be evidence. And also, would like to talk about the fact that leaves a stigma in you, and it's a forever thing because. The moment you get that you are casted, mm -hmm. you begin to go inside, which could lead to depression, anxiety, so and even suicide. suicide at all. Yeah. Like, you go that far. There is also the fact that you depreciate in value. This is your respect, you yeah. become sheep. Even yeah. guys no longer honor you. Your, your, your dignity you. is just lost. Lost. In a minute. Anybody can you step being, over you. Yes, you, can't you think you are being famous, but... You are depreciating. Exactly. Actually, you are dis you are depreciating in value like very fast. Very fast. Very fast. So Alright, sure. moving on, let's talk about the impact of this challenge on the environment and the society at large. What do you think? Okay, I'll say that for the society it's really like affecting the other gender. Like the um male gender. Male gender. This not them watching pornography. It's just something that is now like a rampart exactly of a rampart thing that is like on social media is the challenge that you see and all that and this challenge is not like edifying them but instead damaging their heart and making them have several thoughts in them and did they say that say hormones are not born again yeah. Yeah. when yeah. we are yeah. producing these videos every day we are tend we tend to like give them this thought and to end up like building more sexual similarities up. Alright, so Blessing, can you tell us what you feel like the impact would be on the environment and the society? Like Tega has said, the impact is even much more on the male gender and then we see them that because they cannot go online, especially for the Christian brothers, they do not have the boldness to go online to, to check for a pornographic scene or picture. They now use that as a particular, as their own source of, you know, Involving in that in that act, do you think the impact would be on the society? Yes, um, thank you, Sister Favor. There is also promotion of sexual immorality okay. on the rampart. Follow the trend. Follow the trend. Check it out. Watch and rewatch, and then you just see people going there, even reposting. Yeah, like reposting. Some ladies, me, I feel like the way this sexual immorality affects the ladies. Because they cannot, many ladies, because they don't have the confidence to actually go out and then put themselves yeah. out there. Yeah. Some people are not even doing it because they cannot take the risk of putting their phone <laughs> on the ceiling. You know, they would repost, watch. That's like, that's now what they'll keep searching for. This pillow. Exactly, and keep watching. Mm -hmm. You know all of these things, and that way you are promoting sexual immorality, and you also, and also the increment in the um sexual harassment. sexual harassment you as a lady you the same you will go out expose your body expose all the private parts of your body things that are part of body that you're supposed to keep to yourself keep to your future husband and you just go outside there and then you would just be exposing it and then you expect a man to come and give you the respect that you deserve as a lady no why would there be sexual immorality why would there be sexual harassment why would there be rape and also well, let's talk about the risk of temptation all around mm -hmm. masturbation masturbation that's like number one like it's a whole lot and it's everywhere masturbation on both sides exactly like she said our hormones are not born again it used to be before that they would say, Oh, the lady mistakenly sent a new picture to someone, and then the person said to send it out and blackmail and the like. But now, <laughs> you as a lady, you, your own hand will use and put the phone up. You mm. now video yourself naked, <laughs> like naked, not even exposing some parts, the whole part. Like, is this how much the devil has gotten into us? You yourself, you are putting it out there intentionally. It's your two koro koro eyes wide open. Your street. two legs working. Because you just want to, you want to trend. You, you, trend. Trend. you want to have much more followers. You want people to, you know, know you and be famous. If you want to be famous, why not be famous for something good? Something so, of value. Exactly. Definitely, what is trending will definitely end you. Yeah. yeah. And what is in vogue will later come to be vague. Eh? Do you know the easier you get these things and eh? all this fame, followers, exactly. it's all for nothing. Why? Because the easier you climb up the ladder, is you will 
fastly come down and you will drop down dead. <laughs> That's deep. <Yeah. laughs> Alright, so now that you've heard what the impact on the person would be and also the impact on the society at large, I want to believe that you have your own opinion about this. Please, please kindly drop it in the comment section and let me know what you think about the impact and do you even think that there are any positive impacts on this now let's quickly talk about our opinions and what we think as a christian lady you should stand for even why this trend is in vogue 